Hi folks, I'm Chris Marshall with Woodworkers Journal Magazine. You know, woodworking is all about making decisions and answering questions. And when it comes to the finishing stage of the process, for me, those decisions and questions just continue. For every project that I'm finishing, I'm asking myself these sorts of things. What do I want the finished look of the wood to be? How durable does the finish have to be? Is it compatible with the wood I'm using or the stain I'm planning to use? And can I apply this finish successfully with the skills I have? Well, when it came time to choose a finish, for this mahogany porch swing project, I had to ask myself the same sorts of questions to land on the best exterior finish for the job. And I knew that I wanted to use a commonly available home center option. If you haven't finished many outdoor projects, I thought it might be helpful to share some of those home center options for exterior finishes and my thoughts about choosing one for this particular project. Let's take a look at the typical home center options for exterior wood finishes. Here I've got a scrap piece of mahogany from the porch swing project and I've applied these different finish samples so you can see what they look like. And first among them is good old exterior paint. It's easy to apply, it's very durable, and of course it comes in every color under the rainbow. And these days more and more paints are being formulated with the primer mixed right into the paint for one coat coverage. It's very convenient because one coat on bare wood and you're done. Now I know there are woodworkers who cringe at the thought of painting a handmade woodworking project, but sometimes it's the right choice. Take this Adirondack chair for instance. I built it about a year ago for our magazine, made it out of cypress, and the color of that bare wood was all over the map, so I was fine hiding it. And Adirondack chairs like this are commonly painted in fun, bright colors. So paint was totally appropriate for this project. And it's wearing well. Even after a year of sitting out in the full sun, it looks just about as good as the day it left the shop. But for this mahogany that has a grain pattern that's way too pretty to hide, painting it would have been a shame. So there's no way paint was an option here. Next down the line are these two mostly clear home center finish options, which are actually quite different. This one is wood and deck sealer, and this one is spar varnish. Deck sealers are a combination of chemicals and oils with UV inhibitors and mildew sides blended in. Clear versions don't color the wood very much, but they do help to keep it from turning gray too quickly, and they're easy to apply by just flooding it on and letting it dry. But if you have a deck, you know that you have to keep up with sealers like this by reapplying because the finish doesn't last very long. For a project in the full sun, you might only get a couple of seasons before the wood starts looking dry again. And for this porch swing project, I wanted something longer lasting. Spar varnish, this other mostly clear finish option, is another one you'll find at the home center. And it can be a great choice for exterior projects. Boat builders have relied on it for many decades. It seals wood inside a film coating to keep water out and to help block UV rays and it's formulated to be more flexible than other varnishes so it can expand and contract with the wood as the humidity and temperature changes. And that's really important for any exterior finish. It's got to move with the wood. So even though spar varnish is tough and easy to apply, I didn't want this project to have a shiny coated interior look to it. I wanted the wood to look as natural as possible. So that led me to the exterior stains aisle at my home center. And I think exterior stains have some real benefits. They come in lots of attractive wood tone colors. They're easy to apply. Just flood them on, let them soak in, and wipe off the excess. Exterior stains have UV inhibitors to keep the wood from turning gray prematurely. And they soak into the wood fibers to offer reasonably long protection, particularly for projects that are in partial to full shade, like a front porch and exterior stains won't leave the wood looking shiny. They're a nice, close to the wood finish. With exterior wood stains, you do have to make some choices, and the biggest of them is how much of the natural wood grain do you want to hide. There are solid colored exterior wood stains like this that totally hide the natural wood grain. They actually function more like a thinned paint than a typical stain, 
And if a solid colored stain fails, in my experience, they can peel just like paint. Then there are transparent wood stains like this. They color the wood without hiding the natural wood grain. They're thinner than a solid colored stain, so they soak in better and they won't peel off. And that last option for me was the bingo. For this mahogany porch swing, I went with a semi-transparent exterior stain. I also went with an oil-based formulation rather than a water-based stain, and here's why I did that. With all of the slats and nooks and crannies on this project, I didn't want the stain to dry too quickly and end up looking blotchy and inconsistent, and that can happen with water-based stains. Oil-based stains dry much more slowly, so you can flood it onto the entire project, let it soak in, and wipe off the excess for a more consistent look. And when the time comes that I have to refinish this swing, and it will, all I have to do is clean the wood and reapply the stain. Simple. An oil-based semi-transparent stain might not be the best choice for your project. Maybe you want a more vibrant color or no color at all. Maybe you just really like the look of shiny varnished wood and hey, it's all good. I just think it's important that we know what our outdoor finish options are along with their strengths and weaknesses. Then choose the finish that suits your tastes and project best. I hope this video has helped show you my thought processes for finishing this project so it's useful when you need to choose an outdoor finish too. Thanks for watching.